Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter one, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So this one just wants us to find the value of the underlined digit. So all we're gonna do is the underlined digit here is a three. We're gonna drop that three down and everything afterwards becomes a zero. There's one number afterwards, one zero. Okay, now once the seven, I'm gonna drop the seven down and there are one, two numbers after the seven, one, two zeros. Okay, uh, it just wants the value of the seven on the end here. There is no number after it, it's just seven. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do the rest of those. Okay, we're gonna go down to number nine. So number nine wants us to compare the values of the underlying digits. So this three is in the hundredths place and this, place, this three is in the tens place. So we're gonna go ahead and the value of the three in the blank is blank times the value of the three in blank. So the three in 6300 is how many times more? Well, let's see, it has one zero, two zeros. This one has one zero, which means there's a difference of a zero on the end. When they're talking about zeros, it's talking about multiples of 10. So if there's one zero here, I'm gonna cross that one off, which leaves us with one zero. Okay, so this zero and this zero match up. Now I still have one zero left. Well, then we're talking about 10 times, one zero. Okay, these are all multiples of tens, hundreds, thousands, one zero, one zero is 10, okay, in 530. Okay, we're gonna do number 10, okay. The value of the two here is 2,000. The value of the two here is 200, okay. So I'm gonna cross off my zeros that match. I have one, two zeros here. I'm gonna cross off one, two zeros here. I'm still left with one zero which means the value of the two in two, seven, eight, three, one zero is gonna be a 10 times the value of the two in 7,283. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do 11 and 12. We're gonna go down to number 13, okay? Okay, number 13 says, what is the value of the digit nine in the attendance at the Redskins versus Titans game. Well, that's that number right there. So we're gonna drop that number down. So we just have a nine, and then one, two, three numbers after it turn into zeros, 9,000. Okay. The attendance at which game has a seven in the 10,000th place? Well, that our six is in the 10,000th place, seven and eight. The only one here that has a seven in the 10,000th place is going to be the Ravens versus Panthers. Okay, we're gonna flip it over onto the back side. I'm gonna let you guys do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review because it's important to remember where how you got there, okay? Hot dog buns come in packages of eight. For the school picnic, Mr. Spencer bought 30 packages of hot dog buns. How many hot dog buns did he buy? Okay, so 30 packages, and there are eight in each package. So I'm gonna give you a little trick here and tell you that you can take that zero right off and put it on the end. Okay, because eight times zero is zero, and then eight times three, is 24, so 240 buns. Make sure that you label it. It's a word problem, it needs a word answer. Okay, there are eight students on the minibus. Five of the students are boys. What fraction of the students are boys? Well, if there's eight students all together and five of them are boys, five eighths are boys. We have the total number of kids and how many were boys. Okay, 
The clock below shows a time when Amber leaves home for school. What time does Amber leave home? Okay, so I want you to look at this. A lot of us get mixed up with our longhand and shorthand. I'm going to tell you that hour is a short word, so it's the shorthand, and minute is the longer word, so it's the longer hand. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and the shorthand is pointed just past eight. So it's eight right there. Okay, and then the minute hand is pointing to the two, and since we count by fives, it's going to be five, ten, eight, ten. And I would guess that would be a.m. leaving for school. Okay? Okay. Jeremy drew a polygon with four right angles and four sides with the same length. Okay? So he could have done two different things. So he could have either drawn, oops, sorry, he could have drawn a square or a rhombus, which is also a diamond. But both of those are known as quadrilaterals. All right, guys, good job on 1.1. Come on back for 1.2. See you soon.